Most Canadians think that financial reporting is accurate and is honest. That's not the case. New book out, Avoiding Swindlers, by Al Rosen, who is a very experienced business person and accountant and professor. He joins me right now. I read through the book. You're talking about how to avoid swindlers, but let's just first of all ask, why are the swindlers getting away with it in Canada? The rules have changed. Yes. When did they change and how? The most major change was one in 2011, 2012, right. when international financial reporting standards were brought in by the auditors to be used in the future on public company reporting. And those rules are not nearly as stringent or as requiring as they were before, correct? No, they're perfect if you are a swindler because you have golden opportunities to improve and increase the income and therefore you fake what really is happening Why in that company. Why did all our accounting firms in, in Canada, and they, everybody thinks that they're above board. Why did they allow this to happen? They somehow or other got together with these international people at the time it was out of Europe and decided they would support an attempt to have uniform across the world. But the United States accounting firms did not agree to this. Absolutely not. There are bits and pieces they've accepted, but they've kept their own system. So it's more accurate in the States than it is in Canada. So we got led down the garden path. So how do we change this? Do we have more and more bureaucrats looking at companies? Is that the answer? No, we have to bring in a system that cuts down the number of opportunities you have to manipulate the numbers. And so accounting firms can do that. They could, they could bring in this new system or bring they, in the old they, one. They could, but they didn't and have not done so in the last 10 years. So as a result of that, people are looking at companies and saying, or they should say, this is not entirely accurate, particularly with companies that sell marijuana. Yes. And even worse than that, you have reported income, which could be 80 85% fake in the sense it's based not on accurate transactions with third parties. Right. It's based on management's guesswork. So a lot of Canadians are being taken to the cleaners because the rules have changed. They don't know it, which is why you wrote this book. Exactly. Avoiding swindlers. That's the third book we did on swindlers. And on that basis, this one is written as much as possible for the average person who doesn't like accounting very much. <laughs> It'll be a bestseller. Al Rosen, thank you very much. Three minutes. If you did not know that the Red Ensign, formerly Canada's flag, has now been labeled by the Canadian government a symbol of hate, and they're sending that to all the students, then press subscribe and PayPal and learn more.